Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Monday Magical Musing for the last week of March, uh, March 30th, 2015. So welcome back to our latest um, issue of our video for working with our um, dual decks, working with the Wildwood Tarot and the Rider Waite Tarot. So just wanted to thank everybody right off the top for um, your messages and texts uh, from last week. A lot of us were able to do quite a, um, a lot of, of work with our cards, with the wild man and with the nine of wands and the uh, nine of bows. So congratulations to those of you who really dug in and really uh, made good use of those allies. Um, and this week, interestingly enough, we have a back-to-back -back wands. We had wands last week and we have wands again this week. So collectively, we're still needing to work with the, the spirit, um, to work with um, the spiritual aspect, I guess I'll call it that, of our natures. And so um, after our meditation, we will dive into that and um, we will talk about what's up for us this week, which is very different than pretty much any card we've picked. So we're starting to um, be pulling in some different ways for ourselves, which is pretty neat. So what I'd like to do now is just invite you into the meditation portion um, of our gathering so that you can begin to center in and start to do some claiming for yourself around what you'd like to receive, um, working with our tarot allies and archetypes. And then we'll go forward and um, talk a little bit about who they are and what they have to share with us this week. So I invite you to bring yourself into a relaxed position, um, reclining or sitting as is comfortable for you, and to allow yourself to take three deep breaths in and out at your own pace. And as you allow yourself to settle into this moment, into your body, using the breath as an anchor, you can simply begin to release any thoughts, any distractions, or any concerns. Just note them and let them go. Letting the breath anchor you into the now. Allowing yourself to feel a sense of gratitude for creating this space for your spiritual practice. And if you are one of our Circle Magica community that tunes in every Monday, just give yourself a lot of credit because this is a, a weekly format that we practice and you receive this spiritual direction and opportunity every week. And We've been meeting now for, in this format, uh, almost going into our fourth month. So as you begin to deepen your relaxation into your body, allowing the breath to release any tensions, any tightness, any thoughts, any physical sensations that would take you out of your focus, out of sacred space. And you can just let them move through you like a soft, gentle breeze. Inviting in now the grounded presence of the earth, inviting in the four directions and elements, those being north, and earth, and east, and air, and south, and fire, and west, and water. Inviting our ancestors and loved ones and friends in spirit who wish to contribute to this time together in a positive way. Inviting in the star, sky beings, master teachers, angelic realms, Inviting in our allies from the lower, middle, and upper worlds, our personal teachers and guardians and guides, calling on our own deep wisdom to bring to the surface today 
whatever teachings will help spur us this week and help us to live with awareness and truth and joy and peace and all of the qualities that are important for us to experience this week. We ask that it would be so. Setting your intentions now for how you would like to receive and work in the coming week with both the Wildwood and the Rider Waite archetypes and cards. And so mo it be. So coming back to your awareness in your physical body, opening your eyes and um, moving forward, uh, we're working this week with um, two cards, <clears throat> as you know, one from Wildwood, one from Rider Waite that actually are um, pretty much identical as opposed to some weeks where the cards really have very different um, feelings. For example, last week we saw with the a Wildwood Tarot card of um, the Nine of Bows and Respect, the Wild Man, versus the Nine of Wands and the Rider Waite. They had very different feelings to them, didn't they? Um, but again, having that um, cross-section using the two decks to work together is really a great opportunity for us to even get a, a bigger picture uh, by combining the teachings from both. So this week, in contrast, our cards are um, very similar in uh, message and in feeling. Um, so this week we've, we've chosen the Four of Wands um, from the Rider Waite and the Four of Bows, um, which is celebration. So isn't that wonderful? After all this hard work we've been doing, and it's been, we've had some pretty nitty gritty weeks um, leading up to this, but apparently what we collectively need this week is a time to celebrate, a time to give ourselves nourishment, to give ourselves credit for our achievements, um, for our successes, and a time to be with others for the purpose of celebrating. Um, the Wildwood speaks to how uh, this is a, a card that um, indicates for us the need to um, set aside what worries and troubles and focus on what is working. Focus on um, not the things that challenge us, but the things that we have risen to the challenge and succeeded. So this is a, a really a, a pat yourself on the back week. Um, it is a week to um, lessen the intensity, um, to, to take a step back from the intensity, but, and rather be with people that make you feel good, um, loved ones or friends, or uh, getting together and going out socially, um, dancing, celebrating, singing, doing those things that really open you up to that sense of appreciation for yourself and the appreciation of life itself. So I'm going to switch into to intuitive mode now and start speaking directly um, to you and see what spirit wants to bring um, forward about how you can apply these cards um, to your own paths this week. So uh, coming into April, you know, we're really starting to um, move into spring, even though for those of you that don't live in New England, we do um, still have snow. As I speak right now, there's a, a nice spring rain. It's, it's been like a 50 degree day. So the snow is starting to melt. We're starting to see that gray green grass that uh, doesn't look like grass at all, but it's not snow, so it's welcome to see something besides a dirty white uh, covering on the, every speck of land. Um, but, you know, we're getting it almost into April. And so with that, we're going to see more blooming flowers. We're going to start to um, see the beginnings of some of the, the trees just start to show their buds a bit. And we're getting to hear more bird song. We're seeing more wildlife. And so there's a lot of joy in that. You know, it's like a reuniting um, with the, the green of the earth, you know, with the life force of the earth. And so even that can bring up that feeling of celebration and lightness. And so um, for us, who I'm tuning into right now, there's... Um, some of you are really going to have to remind yourself 
to get out of that nose to the grindstone or like having your blinders on kind of mode and you know step back take a breath appreciate um, enjoy um, you know let yourself smile and laugh and uh, you some of you are I'm being told to tell you to seek out people that you haven't seen in a while reconnect over coffee or tea um, you know go out to lunch um, go for a walk on the beach. There are some of you that are long overdue and it's almost like starving um, or feeling like, you know, you've being in the desert and, and the, the oasis I can see on the horizon for you. And you need to be refilled, you know, with the nourishment of people that make you feel good. So a big part of this week is around um, community, around um, being with people you haven't seen in a while or, you know, handpick people that you'd really like to connect with. And it could be um, people that you love and that you know, but it, it also could be people that you would like to know, you know, be brave and, and um, uh, reach out. And if there is, whether it's a, a business networking or social, look who's here, Tabba. This is Tabitha. Hold on a minute. I'll see if I can hear. Yeah, she is. There's the tabs. She wants to share. So there you go, celebrating. See, she's come in, she, she's come in for all that positivity. So <laughs> all the, um, the joy that's available to us this week. So she wants to lend a little of her feline vibe to that. Uh, so let's see where you can really let the focus be on celebrating you, celebrating life, celebrating your achievements. Um, I feel like some of, of you need to really make that shift to light, lighten up on yourself too. You know, um, where have you been like, oh, I've got to do this, I've got to do that. You know, I see what well, they're showing me a picture of a, a list and just kind of a relentlessness for some of you about achieving and about getting things done. And this week, it's about celebrating what you have done. And, you know, sometimes before we move forward, we need to take a breath and just um, recognize what we have done. And that's what's being asked of us this week. So some of you are really going to need to break up that pace. Um, you know, with the warmer weather, it, it is definitely an invitation for you to get outdoors and, and breathe in that prana, breathe in the life force of, um, get out of the four walls, you know, um, get out of your habitual patterns this week. This is the week for that and to just really, um, the words appreciate, celebrate, um, really, if you need to be with, uh, think of the people that make you feel good and spend time with them, um, and really acknowledging, you know, what you have done. Um, and this doesn't necessarily have to be it can be, it can go a couple of different ways. It can be um, of things that you've recently done, or you can look at far back, you know, look at your life achievements. Um, how often do we do that? You know, oftentimes when we go back, it's about, we look at all the mistakes we made or all of the um, wounds or the, the hurt places or the things that we're still holding on to. What if you were to, by contrast, um, take a piece of paper and a pen or in your journal and write about all the great things that you're proud of or all the things that you want to give yourself credit for. All of the results of the hard work that you've put into this life. So some of you, this would be a really great exercise for. Um, some of you need to give yourself more credit. And some of you need to realize that if you can do that and you look back, you know, you'll come away from that exercise saying, yeah, I am pretty, pretty rocking. You know, and I deserve to feel good about what I've accomplished and who I am. Because uh, it can be all too easy to get stuck in that mental rut of um, how we need to do more, how we need to be more, where we're not enough, you know, comparing um, to whether it's peers within our professional community or whether it is um, people or uh, that we would want to be like or um, relatives that we never felt like we... Um, measured up. So it's this week is a complete departure from all of that. And what a relief to just give yourself a mental break from all of um, the, uh, the, the repetitive mental tapes that we play 
and from Voices in Our Head. It's a week about really hitting the pause on that and you know, ideally let's just take those tapes out and dispose of them. But it's, it, this is not a week of hard work. This is a week of a much more simple way of um, living and being. So if, say, I have a feeling what I, I am getting to is that there are some of you that, you know, feel like you have this monster week ahead of you and it's like, oh, you know, this doesn't really pertain to me or I don't, I don't see that I have the time for that or it's not relevant. I would challenge that and say, if that's the case, then even more so. Do you need to do this for yourself? Um, because oftentimes um, when, when we get into that like all work and no play mode, it can really... Um, there are times when it can really be counterproductive for us to not balance that out. And because we're working with the fours this week, um, we, we are dealing with balance. Four is a stable, can be a stabilizing number. You know, you think of um, like the four legs on a chair, uh, four wheels in a car, for example. So you need that four energy this week. Um, and so allow yourself to partake of it. Allow yourself to enjoy that. Allow yourself, oh, and they're telling me to say, and four paws <laughs> on a feline. So <laughs> doesn't she look happy and balanced? She's purring. She's bringing in that joy energy for us, that celebration energy for us, taking a break from the pace. So let yourself have it. Um, maybe it's just simple things. You know, maybe you go out with a girlfriend for a glass of wine and have a few laughs. So understand that nourishes our spirit too, guys. <clears throat> it's not just, you know, reading, 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 studying, digesting. Sometimes the way to digest is to give ourselves um, some space and time to mix it up a little bit with things that are lighter and joyful. So um, with that being said, it's a very simple message this week to all of us. Um, it's really, if you have that, instinct within you to really kind of force yourself, you know, it's like um, pushing yourself up the hill or trying to climb the mountain this week. Give yourself an opportunity to bring the energies of four in, bring in the energies of, in the Wildwood Tarot, the um, four of bows, celebration, and the Rider Weight Tarot, the four of wands, so that you can really appreciate yourself acknowledge yourself, and um, be in the appreciation of the things that are working in your life. And that's across the board. So the message, the messages um, maybe sound more general this week, but it's because the message really is pretty much the same for all of us, is we, we need to really be in that space together collectively because we'll also help others um, that might be struggling or experiencing um, you know, downturns or going through hard times, being in that joyful, appreciative state can also, that's a very um, sp spiritual vibration that other people's, um, other people will respond to in kind. So know that um, this is a different way of influencing and being um, in community with others is holding that space, not only for yourself, but also for other people. And that can be transformative. Um, not even that you have to say things to them, but just radiate that space, as you guys know, to be the pebble in your own pond, right? And the ripple effects of what you um, hold is also what will um, vibrate out to others. So um, if you are not uh, a subscribing member yet of Circle Magica, you can become one so you can get these musings each Monday delivered to your inbox. All you need to do is go to circlemagica.com slash subscribe and um, we will make sure that every Monday that you get to join us in community. And you can also, if you want to catch up on what's happening at Circle Magica um, via Facebook, uh, you can uh, friend me at my Facebook page, which is just Deb D'Onofrio. So, I hope that you all really take in um, the simplicity and the, um, the call to action to appreciate yourselves, to acknowledge your achievements and successes, 
and to get together with people that make you feel good and celebrate not only yourself um, and your achievements and things that are working in your favor, um, but also the goodness of life and the goodness that's in your life too. So with that being said, I wish you all a magical and powerful week. Blessed be, my friends.